On January 16, 2025, history was made as Blue Origin's massive New Glenn rocket thundered off the launch pad for its maiden flight. The morning sky erupted with the brilliant flame of seven BE-4 engines, pushing the boundaries of private spaceflight to new heights. But what started as a moment of triumph took an unexpected turn during the crucial booster recovery phase, a phase that SpaceX has mastered over hundreds of successful landings. As the massive booster descended through the atmosphere toward its designated landing ship in the Atlantic Ocean, something went wrong. The engines reignited as planned, but in those final moments, the live stream cut out, leaving space enthusiasts worldwide holding their breath. What exactly happened in those critical seconds? Today, we're breaking down the newly surfaced reports that shed light on this landing anomaly. And there's more. While Blue Origin analyzes their first flight data, SpaceX isn't standing still. They're already preparing for their next ambitious Starship launch, incorporating crucial lessons from Flight 7 into what could be their most successful test yet. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in private spaceflight. Let's dive right in. The BE-4 engines roared to life in the pre-dawn darkness of Cape Canaveral, their brilliant blue flame illuminating the launch pad as New Glenn, Blue Origin's most ambitious project to date, began its journey to space. After years of development, countless tests, and the watchful eyes of the space community, this moment represented more than just another rocket launch. It was Blue Origin's entry into the orbital launch market, a direct challenge to SpaceX's dominance in reusable rocketry. The initial ascent was picture perfect. As New Glenn pushed through the sound barrier, its seven BE-4 engines performed flawlessly, demonstrating the culmination of over a decade of engine development. The rocket's massive frame, standing nearly as tall as NASA's Saturn V, carved through the morning sky with a grace that belied its enormous size. For the team at Blue Origin, these first minutes of flight validated years of careful engineering and countless sleepless nights. But the real test was yet to come. While successfully reaching orbit would mark a significant achievement, the true innovation lay in New Glenn's reusability, a feature that has revolutionized the economics of spaceflight since SpaceX first landed a Falcon 9 booster. As the second stage continued its journey to orbit, all eyes turned to the complex choreography of bringing a 23-story tall booster back to Earth. This is where the story takes an unexpected turn. The initial descent appeared normal, with the booster beginning its carefully programmed series of maneuvers. However, keen observers noticed something unusual during the entry burn phase. The engine plume, typically a clear indicator of engine performance, showed signs of trouble. Instead of the characteristic bright-focused flame, the plume appeared diffuse and discolored, a telltale sign of improper propellant mixture. Our analysis of the technical data reveals a fascinating chain of events that led to this anomaly. During the booster's flip maneuver, a critical moment when it reorients itself for atmospheric entry, the liquid oxygen and methane propellants behaved in unexpected ways. The rapid change in orientation, combined with New Glenn's unique tank configuration, created a perfect storm of challenges. Think of it like trying to pour water from a partially filled bottle while doing a backflip. The liquid doesn't just stay at the bottom, it sloshes, creates bubbles, and becomes unpredictable. In New Glenn's case, this phenomenon, known as propellant slosh, had serious consequences. The liquid oxygen stored in the bottom tank experienced particularly severe movement during the flip maneuver. This disrupted the careful balance of propellants needed for the BE-4 engines to operate properly. The turbo pumps, sophisticated pieces of machinery that feed propellants into the combustion chamber at incredibly high pressures, suddenly found themselves struggling with an inconsistent supply of liquid oxygen. It's similar to trying to drink a smoothie with air bubbles in the straw, except these bubbles were moving at supersonic speeds through precision equipment designed for liquid flow. This disruption created a cascade of effects. Without the proper oxygen supply, the engines began burning fuel rich, producing less thrust than needed for the carefully calculated landing sequence. The shortened burn time, approximately 15 seconds less than planned, left the booster traveling faster than intended with compromised control authority for its final approach. The live stream cut out during these critical moments, 
But new analysis suggests the booster's fate was likely sealed by this point. The combination of higher than planned velocity and compromised engine performance made a successful landing virtually impossible. For the Blue Origin team, watching years of work disappear into the Atlantic Ocean must have been heart-wrenching. Yet this failure provides invaluable data for future improvements. This setback draws interesting parallels to SpaceX's early attempts at booster recovery. Few remember now, but SpaceX's path to routine landings was paved with spectacular failures. Each crash taught valuable lessons, leading to the remarkably reliable system we see today. Blue Origin now finds itself at a similar crossroads, armed with real-world data that no simulation could provide. Meanwhile, across the space industry, eyes are turning to SpaceX's upcoming Starship launch. Flight 8 represents the next step in SpaceX's ambitious program, building on both successes and failures from previous tests. The improvements being implemented showcase how quickly the industry can adapt and evolve. The heat shield modifications for Flight 8 particularly stand out. During Flight 7, the thermal protection system showed vulnerabilities during re-entry, with some tiles becoming damaged or dislodged. SpaceX's response has been comprehensive, not just strengthening the tiles themselves, but also improving their attachment methods and the underlying support structure. These changes reflect a deep understanding of the extreme conditions Starship must endure during atmospheric re-entry. The payload dispenser system has also undergone significant refinement. The previous flight revealed opportunities for improvement in the mechanism's reliability and precision. For Flight 8, SpaceX has completely redesigned this system, incorporating redundancy and enhanced control systems to ensure smooth payload deployment operations. Perhaps most critically, the aft section modifications address the oxygen leak and fire concerns observed during Flight 7. The upgraded sealing systems and enhanced monitoring capabilities demonstrate SpaceX's commitment to both safety and rapid iteration. These improvements aren't just technical upgrades, they represent lessons learned through real-world testing. Ship 34 and Booster 15's preparation for Flight 8 showcases the relentless pace of innovation in modern spaceflight. The successful completion of cryogenic testing for both vehicles marks a significant milestone. These tests, conducted at temperatures approaching those of liquid oxygen and methane, verify the hardware's ability to withstand the extreme conditions of spaceflight. The installation of Raptor engines on Ship 34 represents another crucial step forward. These engines, continuously refined through multiple iterations, embody the philosophy of constant improvement that drives the industry forward. The upcoming static fire tests will validate these improvements under real-world conditions. As we watch these developments unfold, it's clear that we're witnessing more than just technical achievements. We're seeing the evolution of private spaceflight, where companies learn from each other's successes and failures, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Blue Origin's New Glenn landing attempt, despite its ultimate outcome, adds another valuable chapter to this ongoing story of innovation and perseverance. The space industry stands at a pivotal moment. With each launch, whether successful or not, we gain new insights that drive us closer to making spaceflight routine and reliable. These aren't just engineering challenges being solved, they're steps toward opening up the final frontier to human exploration and commerce on an unprecedented scale. As Starship Flight 8 approaches and Blue Origin analyzes the data from New Glenn's maiden flight, we're witnessing a remarkable era in spaceflight history. These missions, whether they end in triumph or setback, are pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. Each launch brings us closer to a future where orbital flights are as routine as air travel, where landing rockets is no longer newsworthy, but expected. The story of New Glenn's first flight reminds us that the path to innovation isn't always smooth, but it's these challenges that drive us forward. As we continue to follow these developments, one thing becomes clear. We're not just watching rockets launch and land, we're watching the future of human spaceflight take shape before our eyes. Here at Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're committed to bringing you the latest developments in private spaceflight as they happen. If you want to stay informed about upcoming launches, technical breakthroughs, and industry analysis, hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Share your thoughts on New Glenn's maiden flight in the comments below.
And don't forget to like this video if you found our analysis helpful. Until next time, keep looking up. The future of space is getting more exciting by the day. In the heart of Starbase, Texas, a revolutionary chapter in spaceflight is unfolding. SpaceX stands at the threshold of its most ambitious milestone yet, catching Starship, the world's largest spacecraft, right out of the sky. This isn't just another launch and landing. It's the key to unlocking true space reusability. Following Flight 7's explosive debut of Starship Y2, SpaceX engineers have been working tirelessly on a daring innovation. Hidden within the towering launch site stands Mechazilla, equipped with massive robotic arms nicknamed Chopsticks, ready to attempt something never before seen in aerospace history, gently plucking a massive spacecraft returning from orbit. The signs of this bold plan are already visible. Recent footage shows S-33 sporting a mysterious new landing system in Mega Bay 2, while S-35's modified design reveals carefully placed openings for landing pins. These aren't just minor tweaks, they're the building blocks of a complete transformation in how we recover spacecraft. Elon Musk himself recently revealed this groundbreaking plan, stating that after one more ocean landing, SpaceX will attempt the impossible, catching Starship with the tower. This announcement sent shockwaves through the space community as it would mark the first ever attempt to catch a vehicle of this size, returning from orbital velocity. Today, we're going to break down exactly how SpaceX plans to accomplish this feat, examining the intricate systems, innovative designs, and cutting-edge technology that will make this seemingly impossible task a reality. Let's dive right in. At the heart of SpaceX's mission to revolutionize spaceflight lies a challenge that would have seemed like science fiction just years ago, catching a massive spacecraft as it returns from orbit. The journey to this moment has been marked by both triumphs and setbacks, each teaching valuable lessons that bring us closer to this historic achievement. Deep within the halls of SpaceX's engineering facilities, teams have been meticulously developing a system that pushes the boundaries of what's possible. The story begins with S-33, the starship designated for Flight 7. While many focused on its external appearance, a crucial detail went largely unnoticed a pioneering simulated landing system carefully integrated into its structure while still in Mega Bay 2. This wasn't just another test component. It represented the culmination of years of research, countless sleepless nights, and the unwavering determination of engineers who refused to accept impossible as an answer. During Flight 6, SpaceX took a bold step that few noticed at the time. They strategically removed heat shield tiles from specific areas creating a window into how these critical zones would perform under the intense stresses of orbital flight. The data gathered from this seemingly simple modification would prove invaluable, guiding the development of future landing systems that would need to withstand the brutal forces of atmospheric reentry. As S-35 took shape, the evolution became more apparent. New openings appeared in its sleek hull, carefully positioned to house the landing pins that would eventually interface with Mechazilla's massive arms. These weren't just holes in a spacecraft. They represented the physical manifestation of SpaceX's vision for true reusability. Each opening was precisely calculated, every measurement scrutinized, knowing that even the smallest error could mean the difference between success and failure. The landing pins themselves tell a story of extraordinary engineering ingenuity. Chrome Kiwi, a respected analyst in the space community, revealed fascinating details about their design. The pins feature a subtle yet crucial curved lower surface, a detail that might seem insignificant at first glance, but represents a breakthrough in stability control. This curvature, working in harmony with the chopsticks catching mechanism, helps dampen vibrations and reduce the risk of dangerous oscillations during the critical moments of capture. But the true marvel lies in how these pins are protected during the hellish journey through Earth's atmosphere. The heat shield tiles that cover them aren't just simple thermal barriers. They're the result of countless iterations, each version tested and refined to ensure they can protect these vital components when they are needed most. The engineering team faced a seemingly impossible challenge, 
Create a system robust enough to withstand the inferno of re-entry while remaining precise enough to execute a catch that requires millimeter-level accuracy. Flight 8 will mark a dramatic departure from previous missions. Instead of a partial orbit ending in an ocean splashdown, Starship will complete a full orbital journey before attempting its historic return to Starbase. This extended mission profile isn't just about adding flight time, it represents the ultimate test of every system SpaceX has developed. The heat shield will face longer exposure to extreme temperatures. The flaps, critical for controlling Starship's descent, must perform flawlessly for an extended period. Each component must work in perfect harmony to deliver the spacecraft precisely to its rendezvous with Mechazilla. The catching sequence itself is a carefully choreographed dance